The shortage of items and workers continue to affect our country every day, and this shortage extends to women who help bring other people's babies into the world. There aren't enough surrogates to meet the current need, and I talked to a local surrogate who says this is an important role to fill. For me, it's seeing those parents with that baby for the first time and being able to share that journey. Many people dream of becoming a parent, whether it's a couple or an individual, but some who experience infertility, pregnancy loss, or cannot safely carry a baby to term, turn to surrogates to help them achieve that dream. A surrogate is someone that's carrying somebody else's biological child. So the surrogate is not carrying a baby, a ch child that is, has any genetic relation to her. She's just the amazing person carrying it for a family. Among many other shortages in the country, Tiffany Valentine, president of Nationwide Egg Donation and Surrogacy in Meridian, says they are seeing a shortage of surrogates. I'm not sure what happened after COVID, maybe because one of the criteria to be a surrogate is to be vaccinated. Um, just because there's, you know, statistics that show when you get pregnant and you're not vaccinated, the chances of losing the baby are higher. And for the surrogates that are available, like Samantha Cunningham from Pocatello, she says she's getting approached more often. I went through, I think, three or four different couples trying to find that perfect match, and everybody wants to start now. There are so many right now that so many women that were interested in becoming surrogates prior to the pandemic that for some reason have not followed through and wanted to continue. Nationwide egg donation and surrogacy says the number of patients on their waiting list looking for surrogates is at a record high. But just in the clinics that we work with, there's about 50 couples right now looking through the clinics we work with. So there's a huge, and we're just one agency, we're, there's a huge demand for surrogates. Cunningham says it's important for our state to come together and help other people trying to become parents. But we are a surrogate-friendly state, and you, can, you have all the resources here to be able to help someone else if you really want to. It's, it's important to be able to feel that love between, you know, the surrogate and her spouse and the intended parents to make sure that, you know, they are going to be the happiest people in the world because they can finally be parents to a child of their own. And in terms of surrogate compensation, that is, a Valentine says at Nationwide Egg Donation Surrogacy, women can start at $40,000, and she encourages anyone who is interested to reach out. And we'll have all this information on our website at ktbb.com.